Hello dear students and viewers and welcome back. I hope all you are pretty good. Today I am going to take a lesson on narration, imperative sentence. Uh, I already took classes on narrations. I hope you enjoyed those classes. Uh, today you are going to learn uh, uh, some uh, structures uh, and rules uh, of uh, imperative sentence uh, convert into in, in direct speech uh, from direct speech and uh, I'll try to give you uh, some uh, examples and exercises for you uh, to practice through this video. Uh, let's get started. Narration imperative sentence. Imperative sentence. Reporting instructions, request orders, and advice. If I asked you uh, what an imperative sentence, uh, most of the students uh, know about the definitions. Um, I would like to remind you uh, again, uh, an imperative sentence uh, that expresses request, advice, and or order uh, is called an imperative sentence. Let's see the structures of imperative sentences. Sentence with instructions, uh, tail class, object class, to infinitive verb, uh, request class, object class, to infinitive verb. When the sentence with order, you have to follow the structure, order, class, object class, infinitive verb. When the sentence uh, in advice, you have to follow the structure advice plus object plus to infinitive verb. Here you can see uh, the spelling of advice A D V I C E and A D V I S E. If uh, anybody asks you uh, the differentiate between uh, A D V I C E advice and A D V I S E advice. So uh, I just make it clear for you now. A D V I C E advice indicates noun, and A D V I S E advice indicates verb. So when you use as a verb, you must follow S E at the end of it. And when you use uh, uh, the advice as a noun, you have to follow C E at the end of advice. So let's uh, see the structures and examples sentence in instructions put the marks on said his father to him so the report is just given here put the marks on and you can follow the structure subject plus tell plus object plus to plus infinitive verb since uh, 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 it is an um, uh, uh, past indefinite tense so you have to right here told his father is a subject and here will be told uh, object here is him so his father told him to put the mask on so uh, you can uh, figure it out uh, what the answer is um, his father told him to put the mask on okay you can check the answer now his father told him to put the mask on. Sentence in request. Please help me to solve these sums. Say Sophia to Nora. So Sophia is a uh, subject here and Nora is an object. Uh, this is a sentence in request. You have to use requested. So why do you have to write requested here? Because it's written in the past tense. So answer will be Sophia requested Nora to help her to solve those sums. So you can check the answer. Sophia requested Nora to help her to solve those sums. This turn into those in, in the uh, in direct narrations. The sentence in order. Box the money at once. You can see box indicates here as a verb. 
So both the money at once sent the robber to his toughness. You can follow the structure subject, class order, class object, class to infinitive verb. Uh, infinitive to infinitive verb means two plus finite verb. When you put two plus finite verb, it indicates two infinitive verb. So the rover ordered his partners to box the money at once. How do you understand this is a sentence in order? Since it is written here at once, so when at once you have to do it now, right now. So at once that means right now. That's why it is an order. So I'm saying the answer for you. The rover ordered his partner to box the money at once. See? The rover ordered his partners to box the money at once. That's the correct answer. Father said to his son, don't eat street food. Don't eat street food. Don't, don't eat street food. So, uh, here, Father actually, uh, this is the sentence in order, negative, and you know, uh, you have to use uh, uh, order negative sentence uh, uh, as a reporting verb you can use uh, for deleted or for paid. So you can follow the structure subject class for paid or prohibited class object class two plus infinitive verb. Here you have to write uh, the answer will be Father forbade his son to eat street food. Or you can say, Father prohibited his son to eat street food. So you can check your answer with me. Father forbade or prohibited his son to eat street food. This is another kind of a sentence comment and you must know uh, what is the differentiate between comment and order. Where you have to write comment and order. You don't mix it up. The sentence uh, uh, in the reported uh, uh, reporter or a speaker if captain uh, of the ship or a crew or a general uh, in army uh, or you can say um, it is the high level command. You need to write command. So uh, the military leader. So the military leader. You have to write command. You can't write order. The military leader ordered the troops to open fire. So you can uh, check the answer. First, you can follow subject plus commanded plus object plus infinitive verb. So I'm repeating uh, the answer. The military leader commanded the troops to open fire. So you can match your, your answer with me. The military leader commanded the troops to open fire. That's it. Advice, go to the doctor, say it Raju to his friend. So you can uh, sentence with uh, sentence uh, in advice. You can follow the structure, subject, class, advice, class, object, class, to infinitive verb. So Raju is a subject, his friend is an object. So your answer will be Raju advised his friend to go to the doctor. So you can match the answer with me. Raju advised his friend to go to the, the doctor. Propose to. Let's go out for a walk. Say Yunus to me. How do you understand? You have to write a reporting verb propose to. When reported to speech written with let's or let us then you have to write proposed to as a reporting verb so um, 
here your answer will be uh, Yunus proposed me proposed to me that that we should go out for a walk. You can see this structure. Subject class proposed to class object plus that you have to write we or they plus should plus verb plus extension. Here you write we. Why you follow? Uh, you have to write we because the third person plus first person. So when the uh, reporting verb third person plus first person, then you have to write we. When third person to third person, then you have to write they. When third person to second person, you have to follow you. So here you have to write we. So I'm saying the answer for you. Yunus proposed to me that we should go out for a walk. So if it's extension there you can write. If it's not extension, you don't need to write it. So let's check the answer. Yunus proposed to me that we should go out for a walk. And that's the correct answer. Proposed to let's take lunch together. Say she to them. So I'm giving him another example because uh, third person, she and them also third person. When third person refers third person, you have to follow they. So uh, your answer will be, uh, she proposed to them that they should take lunch together. So check your answer with me. She proposed to them that they should take lunch together. Imperatives, I'm, I'm giving you a more examples of imperative sentence. Reporting verb, tell, request or suggest. Subject class tool or requested or suggested class object plus that you can follow he or she might plus verb plus extension you can write here over here might be allowed to might or might be allowed to both will be acceptable to the sentence with kill request let me sit here you can uh, if you see uh, closely in the sentence that is the sentence starts let's me uh, sorry let me and when the sentence start with let me let him let them means uh, not start let's or let us you have to follow the structure subject plus to or requested plus object plus that or plus me object uh, of me they or my plus verb plus extension so here What's the change over here? When you uh, you already uh, 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 saw that uh, subject class proposed to when the sentence given let's or let's let us. Now here uh, you have to uh, follow to a request for reporting verb, and then you have to write might instead of should. Subject plus tool plus requested plus object. So here you see a great change what you saw in the last class. Uh, it was should. Here is might. And you can write also might be allowed to. That also be correct. And uh, let's uh, see the answer. The old man told or requested me that. Me, it refers here, he. You can see, you have to write he, might, sit, there. So here will be he, not me or they. You cannot write this. He will be there. So your answer will be, uh, the old man told or requested me, 
to sit there will be there. So you can write the answer. The old man told me that he might sit there. Or you can write uh, requested instead of told. That also be correct. So my dear students, that is all for today. Uh, I hope you enjoy this class. Uh, I request you to practice a lot, exact uh, some exercises uh, at home. Uh, take care. Bye bye.